video request for today. Why people are so cool with the system, why people defend the system, and why when people don't want to participate in the system, why do they get criticized and belittled and yeah, you get the idea. So uh, let's get into it, man. I've mentioned many times that we all have different views. We all like different things. I like the color red. You may like the color green, you know. <laughs> but, you know, that's what makes us all unique. We all like and dislike different things, you know. I like this. You like, you don't like it. Uh, what you like, maybe I don't like. But no matter what, we all got to obey the almighty system <laughs> you know we all got to obey the almighty system and we got to go through with it now unfortunately yeah we got to unfortunately be stupid sheeps because if not how are we going to make the stupid paper without the stupid paper things are impossible because a piece of paper is very strong you know but it, it just comes to the point where not everyone wants to participate in this so-called gay system you know and when there's people that don't want to participate they end up getting put down you're a bum you're this you're that reject loser or whatever and how's the person really a loser when the person didn't sign up for any of this shit you know i can understand if the person signed up or agreed to some kind of terms to the game or whatever and then lost there whatever you know then i can understand him being a loser or like if he quits he quits what he signed up for then i can maybe understand him being called a loser because he agreed to it and didn't think it through so yeah but that's the thing that's not the case with us we're all just obviously born you know randomly we all just randomly spawn <laughs> i always love using that word we all we all just spawn and then now we got to do this and do that. And if not, we're going to be called a loser. We're going to be called a bum. We're going to be called this. Meanwhile, did I ask for any of this fucking crap? No. No, I did not. You know? Or if I like a certain thing or don't like a certain thing, I'm also criticized. Like, how the hell do you don't like that? Everyone does that. Or, you know, well, I'm not that everyone. We all have, I'm different. And that's the thing. We're all different. But it's like this ends up wanting to program us to all be the same obedient little slave, you know, the obedient little puppet sheep, so whatever you want to call it. See how I look at it as it's okay to lose because it happens. You know, it's like a video game. You play a game or whatever, you lose the fight, you lose the match. So what? You try again. You know, you try again and maybe next next round you'll win. You know? It's like we make it, I mean, it's, yeah, it sucks to lose, but the thing is, calling people losers, calling people a waste of life when people didn't really ask to be here in the first place. And I can understand a person, you know, let's say a person wanted to be here, like asked to be here and signed up to all these things to be here, and then now wants to take it back. I could definitely relate why he would want to take it back because he wasn't thinking of what a shithole this was at first. But then I guess you could maybe say he or she's a loser because he quit. But that's the thing. When we quit, why are we called a loser? We didn't ask for this to begin with. It just happened. You know? It just it just happened. It's like taking care of a kid. You created the kid. You know, you know, you so now you gotta be you gotta do what it takes to be a responsible parent. And if not, then yeah, you're, you're neglecting your kind of a uh, piece of shit <laughs> because you didn't use your head. You didn't think of all the heartache, all the hassle of be taking care of raising this kid. You know, it's not like the kid just came out of nowhere and now, oh my God, what am I going to do? 
you're the one that went through with it and had the baby and now you don't want to take care of the baby so that's screwed up on the parents end because they agreed to it. it's not like the baby just randomly it's not like a random stork just rang the bell bing boom there's a baby take care of it raise it but i didn't ask for a baby tough luck raise that kid you know we created the kid you went through the terms and agreements to want to have a kid but now we we look and we're like oh shit man i know it's gonna be this hard that's the thing we don't think and that's the thing then i can understand being called a loser or a waste or whatever and things like that but where i'm basically trying to go through all this is we none of us none of us here asked to be born i mean you know none of us it just happened so whether we want to participate or not it should be totally up to us we shouldn't be forced to have to work we shouldn't be forced you know to do something that we don't want to do just to make another person happy just to make another you know just so a person could brag to the others or you know like competing and all that shit or trying to show off to others like yeah look what i'm doing me personally i give two shits i don't care about showing off i'm not a show off i don't care to be a show off you know that's the thing and these people get belittled because they don't want to participate in the system well not everyone wants to i know i don't want to either i know unfortunately we we're forced to but there's some people that just rather be homeless than do it and they should just have the right to do what they want to do you know now with all this being said i'm not saying quit your job or you know don't work anymore you know but i'm just saying the choice should be totally up to you of what you want to do you know you shouldn't be pressured by other people telling you what to do or what not to do with your life it should totally be up to you you're you you know you you're your you're your well-being you know whatever makes you happy or you know whatever you feels right doing we should have the right to choose for ourselves but that's the thing it's like we all got to participate in this system and if not we're literally called a bum or called weird or you know what you know meanwhile we didn't we didn't ask to be here how could we lose for something we didn't even ask to start i didn't even agree to start any of this shit here i am in a non-existent state not knowing a thing not a care in the world you know nothing you know not even knowing the world is a world the world anything exists and now i'm here and now i gotta just be dumped with all this fucking bullshit and if i don't want to do it i'm called all those hurtful criticize you know being criticized all those hurtful names bum waste whatever loser blah 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 we go that ass to be here motherfucker no so uh keep your stupid criticisms to your effing selves you know that's how i put it as seriously man and the thing I truly don't understand is how people defend the system. Now, I understand people working because we got to make money. We got to pay bills. We got to, you know, what don't we got need money for? But people that are saying it's good to work or you got to work, man, you know, I mean, of course, I know you got to work f for that reason. But people are just literally defending and almost accepting that this, that this is the way life ought to be when it really shouldn't be. At least not anymore with technology and shit. I mean, I don't know, but. I mean, I feel like it should be getting easier. We should be working less. We should be being more free. Now, I'm not saying to the point where not work at all, but our life should be getting easier. You would think with technology, our lives would be getting easier, and instead it's just it's the total other way around. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's fucking, it's like a circus, man. It's just nothing makes sense. Like people saying, I love to work. I will work a day in my life if I enjoy what I do, or whatever. It's good for you, but... Still, no matter, like I always say, you're still a slave or sheep, whatever you want to call it. I call it either or. <laughs> but at least you're a happy, happy sheep. Then that's one positive thing, I guess you could say. But, you know, just that you love what you do doesn't mean everyone else is going to love what they do. And not everyone's going to want to play this game. That's the thing. Not everyone wants to play the game. And that's where the criticisms and all that shit start if we don't want to participate. You know? It's just, uh, it's crazy. There's people that like snow. There's people that can't stand snow. So in other words, you hate the snow. So you're, uh, what a, what a bum or, you know, or, or 
you're whack you don't like snow everyone has their own opinions on things everyone likes their own shit me i like the snow after a while it gets annoying but i like the snow but if someone else comments and says i hate the snow uh i'm gonna respect that i'm not i'm not gonna say like how do you hate snow you're whack you're lame you know like so that goes with the same with basically the system we all have our own we all like and dislike things man you know we all have different tastes and things. We, you know, we find this person attractive. Maybe we don't find that person attractive, but then that person may find, you know, it's just, so that's what I'm saying. We all have our own opinion, I guess, you know, opinion. And it's like, we're criticized and put down if we have this free will to the point where it isn't free will. And yeah, I just can't stand people that don't see anything wrong with the system. Like, like there's people that be like, oh, this is the way you got to work, man. We you do all day, sit on your ass or, you know, whatever. Meanwhile, that's where it all goes back to. People think if you don't work, you're just going to sit on your ass. There could be other things people like to do that whatever it might be, that work gets in the way of it. Or sometimes work, you know, yeah, I mean, it gets in the way of it to the point where you may have little to no time doing what you truly want to do. And I find that unfair because there's something we truly want to do that that's getting in the way of and we're not doing what we want to do. It's like we think work keeps us occupied. I mean, it does to some extent, but it's putting stress on us. It's, it's literally putting gray hair. It's literally draining your freaking body inside and out. You know? When you could just be focusing on something you truly want to do, whatever it might be. And the thing I can't ever understand, how people like college, how people like doing this. Now, I can understand people forcing themselves to do it because they're trying to make something of, of themselves. I can understand that, but for someone to actually say I enjoy it, like, what's there to enjoy? You enjoy doing all that work all over again? You were just in high school four years. That was a pain in the effing ass. Now you got to go another four years in, in college, plus you're paying, and then you're going to go in debt, most likely. Student loans, you owe, whatever. I mean, what what could you say that you like about that? I can't think of one thing. Now, with well, that being said, I'm not saying don't go to college or quit college if you're currently in college, but I'm just saying I don't know how people actually enjoy doing it. I mean, good for them if they do, but I just, I can't, I can't see it. I just, I, you know, I just can't see it. And I'm not saying to quit in any way, in case that's, you know, people want. I'm not saying quit in any way, but it's just, I don't know how people actually enjoy it. I can understand people trying to just get by to do it, but to actually say, I love college, I love doing this. I mean, I just, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, shoot me in the head or some of <laughs> shit. I think I'd rather chop one of my fingers off than go four years in that bullshit. I kid you not. Today's Monday as of making this video. As of making this video. It's currently a beautiful day. As you can see, there's really no clouds in the sky. It's about 62 degrees currently as I speak. And where are most people right now? In an office. In an office, in a building, enclosed no windows or maybe windows some places don't even have windows that open because either they're broken or they're just not openable windows and they're missing out the fresh air the fresh oxygen out here they're literally all stuffed up inside of a building hi how can i help you okay one sec ma'am uh i'll put you on the nearest uh, uh whatever you know you know and this is all we do all day and that's not all. I mean, there's all the, you know, construction and shit. All, I mean, blue collar to white collar. I mean, you get the idea. But, I mean, it's just, this is what we do all week long. There's a life out there and we're wasting it away working, 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 working. And what are we doing all this hard work for? Just to keep paying our bills. To keep paying our bills because these stupid bills don't want to stop. Instead of at least working to try to enjoy the money. I mean, you, you have a little to maybe enjoy, but the majority of it goes all on overhead. Bills, rent, whatever. Whether people got to pay for rent or taxes or, you know, just whatever. This is what we're doing all this for. We're literally in a in a loop. We got to keep trying to make as much as we can to keep putting it all to the government, to the to the system. And, you know, it's just crazy, man. This is where we put stress on our bones, gray hair on our heads. And we're working ourselves to an early grave. Which maybe that's beneficial if we could escape this shit quicker. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, this is all we do in life. This is all we do in life. 
And then there's people that just don't want to deal with this or participate in this. And then this is when they're put down, criticized or whatever. Like, I ain't signed up for any of these fucking shit. If you want to do this shit, do it. If I don't want to do it, I should have every right not to want to do it. Let me do what I want to do. And that's the thing. We just have no free will. We have no free will. And I'm not saying not to work or anything, but I'm just saying people should have the right to really try and do what they want to do. Now, with that being said, I'm not saying let's all have freedom to the point where let's kill someone or, you know, I'm not saying that. But you know what I mean? Like, we should have the right to do what may make us happy in life, possibly, you know? Not everyone wants to deal with this shit. I don't want to deal with this shit. I mean, I kid you not, I don't know how anyone wants to deal with this shit. I can understand people are doing this because they have no choice. That I totally understand. But people that actually say, I like doing this, this is the way life's got to be. Or well, you're not normal if you think if you think how I think, you know, like, like, hey, there's something wrong with you, man. This is life, man. Get to the program. Fuck the program. I want to get back to the non-existent state program where I have to worry about absolute shit. Now I'm just dumped into this chaos and I got to worry about all this stupidity to just one day not exist again. Come on, man. How stupid does that fucking sound? Seriously. You know, how stupid does that sound? I got to have all these worries. How I'm going to survive, how I'm going to do this, how, I'm gonna, how am I going to do this in life and that, to one day just do absolute nothing and be fucking dead again. Well, non-existent this is what I was getting as again, Daz, but, you know, I got to care all these things. I got to worry about all these fucking things that just no longer exist. Okay, you did all your, all your worryings now could finally come to an end. Should have had to have worries to begin with. It was all just a waste of time is how I look at this as. This is a huge, big waste of time. I'm just dumped into this prison planet and then I'm going to fucking just die again and fucking not exist and not know a thing that effing happened. I'd rather have just stayed in that mother effing state from the, from the gecko. That's the thing. People that talk this way are considered losers, bums, quitters. I mean, well, how we quit when we never even asked for this? You know, we ain't agree to nothing. Like I said, I can understand if you agree to something. Then you quit, then you might be a quitter or a sore loser because, hey, you agree to these things. It's like being a parent. You're quitting now to raise the kid. So, yeah, it's like a quitter because your ass had a kid and now you're going to make that poor son or daughter, whether it's a girl or a boy, life be miserable because now it has no actual parent to raise her or him and to provide. Because you just quit. So now you just basically like dump that baby in the trash. When instead you should have never brought that baby into this world. You know. And that's different, you know. <laughs> but none of us asked to just be here. It's like now that poor baby now is like calling him a loser. Because he didn't participate. He didn't ask to be here. Your parents are the losers. So the parents are the quitters. Because they didn't do what it takes, you know. People make me sick, man. You know, I mean, it's just a lot of stupid people out there that just very naive, you know, narcissists. People that you just, you can't argue with them. That's, that's just so stupid that you can't even waste your breath and energy. You just can't get through with them. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many clues you try to give those certain type of people, it's just you're wasting your absolute time, your breath. It's just you ain't going to get anywhere. You can't reason with those people. They're never, absolutely never wake up or see what, you know, us people see. They always think right away, though, we're crazy, we're this, we're that. And hey, at this point, what could we fucking do? You know, it's not even worth trying. You know, I mean, maybe there's some of them that are probably wake up and see, but the majority are just, they can't, they're ignorant. They just, they think they know everything when they really don't. They don't even know the slightest clue. But since they're ignorant, they think they do. Just like making these videos, unfortunately, ain't gonna solve, you know, the way life is. We're still gonna be slaves. After this video, we still gotta report to work. We still gotta figure out how we're gonna come up with this such an, this amount to pay for whatever we gotta pay for, whatever bill, fee, debt, whatever. You know, but I make these videos because there are some, well, there's a lot, there's a lot of actually people that are smart and woken and, you know, I do like to truly make these people feel less alone, you know, because what ends up happening most of the time is people that have these type of thoughts try to talk to someone about it that are ignorant and don't understand. And then they end up right away 
putting you down, saying you're crazy, you don't think right, you ought to maybe go to therapy or or whatever the situation might just be. And then that's where we just feel alone, we feel trapped, we feel isolated, I guess you could say. And then when you do some research and you actually find like someone like me and then someone someone else that talks about these things too, then you start to say to yourself, I knew I wasn't fucking crazy all this time, you know? I knew I wasn't crazy. It's just I'm surrounded by stupid people, unfortunately. That's that's the problem. I'm surrounded by stupid people and all the intelligent people are, com are on the other side of the world, it seems. You know, like, like really, I can't find really any intelligent people face to face, only through a device, through comments, you know. And I'm thankful that there's those people. But too bad we couldn't, like, you know, actually unite, unite, you know. But that's the thing, it's just... We're surrounded by ignorant morons that just don't have common sense and just won't ever wake up to see. No matter how hard you try to describe it, they just, you can't reason with them. It's, like, it's practically no different than talking to a wall. Like you could probably have a better conversation with a wall. Maybe a wall would actually understand you more than those stupid, ignorant people. I kid you not. I kid you not. You probably have a better conversation with a fucking wall, a tree or something. Hey, tree. Because at least the tree can't talk back. So it can't say any stupid thing in return. It could listen, I guess. <laughs> but it's a little joke. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day there, guys. Um, yeah, man, it's just... You can't waste your breath with these people. I mean, you try, you try, but it's just... It's, it's going in here and it's coming out of there. Well, it's probably not even comprehending in here to begin with to come out of there. It's just, it's not, it's not even entering the ear, period, I guess you could say, you know. But uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, love you all, man. Take it easy. Stay blessed as best as possible. And uh, see you soon. Peace out, guys. Love you all.